Welcome to episode three of me teaching you how to fight like Wolverine. It's a mini series here on the channel where I not only break down Wolverine's fighting styles as they're shown in movies, but also teach it to you so you can use your own Wolverine claws just like the man himself. And yes, these are linked in the description down below. But while you're here, if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, that would be super. <laughs> because we're talking about superheroes, you, you get it, you get it. All right, this is Editing DJ, and I'm just letting you know, I slightly messed up with the audio and the microphone. Uh, there's a little scratching throughout the video. Um, it's not for the tutorial part, but it is for the like indoor talking part. So uh, don't worry, I'll get it fixed in the future. But this video and the next Wolverine video are gonna have the same issue. I promise I fix it for other videos going forward, but for these two, I am very, very sorry. But anyway, What's up guys, this is Only Ninja wearing AV Design a Super Row hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Now, like I said before, this is part three, so I'm going to assume you've already watched at least the first part before watching this one. It's definitely important, that way you understand the base of what Wolverine's fighting style actually is and can keep up in this video a little bit better. So if you click the links in the corner or at the end of the video or just in the description, you can go check out the full Wolverine playlist right now. Honestly, it just keeps me from running over the same information that you should probably already know, and it saves both of our times. However, I bet you didn't know that Sabretooth, Wolverine's honestly most famous villain, is actually not Wolverine's brother, and it's a lot more screwed up in reality. Like, the truth is way more messed up. Yes, I know the movie that we all love to hate, Wolverine Origins, shows the two as brothers, but in reality, they aren't related at all. In fact, Sabretooth actually killed his own brother when they were children just to eat a slice of cake that his brother had, which is messed up to say the least. And makes me feel way better about the bullying I did to my little siblings, so uh... Yeah. The reason Sabretooth hates Wolverine, though, is out of sadistic pettiness. Wolverine had to kill this one guy to escape from being in some circus show. You know, normal Wolverine stuff. But that guy he killed was claimed by Sabretooth. Meaning that Sabretooth just picked a random guy to torture and torment every year on that guy's birthday. And now that Wolverine killed him, Sabretooth has taken it personally and chosen to switch his tormenting person to Wolverine. So he tracks down Logan and screws with him on Wolverine's birthday and not only kills his friends and loved ones, but also torches the X-Men and is just, you know, constantly beating the crap out of him because it's fun for him. And yet, Sabretooth is canonically stronger than Wolverine, so he just... He just molly -wops him around whenever he shows up. It's all just to be super petty, but I bet you didn't know that. And if you did, leave a comment down below. And if you know something else really cool, also leave a comment letting me know what that is. But let's jump into today's tutorial. All right, guys, and we're into the tutorial. This is going to be a scene from X3, I want to say, where Wolverine and some of his other X-Men are holding the line, protecting the uh, mutant child that can erase mutant powers. This is honestly a great example of how Wolverine uses that strategic mind to protect others like we talked about in the first episode of this series. And of course, I'll be using these brass claws because I have two of them and I don't have two of the other Wolverine claws. So if you want these or want two of the other ones, I'll leave the links to both in the, in the description down below. And just like the last video, I'm a little sick and under weather during this, so if you can hear it in my voice, I am very sorry, but let's get to it. We're gonna start off holding the line just like Wolverine in our Wolverine pose. You can choose a different pose if you really want to, but in this scene, we're holding the line, so we're gonna start there. From here, we're gonna take the first guy coming in at us by dropping both our hands to our left hip. Again, I just slightly rotate, dropping both hands to the left hip, for a double up slash coming across. And as I do this, I do take a little step with my right leg just to keep my body movement and my body uh, weight in my strikes as opposed to reaching off 
and being off balance. You want the center in between your legs, the center of gravity in between your legs. And so stepping allows you to do that. Again, dropping both hands to that hip, stepping out, double slash. Then we start with a classic Wolverine one-two combo with right and left respectively. Then we actually take a step out of the normal Wolverine style because normally, like we talked about in the last video, Wolverine goes run, two, three, four. He goes right, left, right, left. In this one, he actually goes right, left, backhand, left, backhand, right, which is kind of unique, um, but a still great combo nonetheless. So to get those backhands, we start with our left. So after we do our left slash, we come across just and rotate with our hips as we do it. Again, our goal is to put our body weight into each one of these strikes. And then as this guy is falling, we just wanna add insult to injury, basically giving him a backhand of sorts, but with our claws, bringing our claws up by our ear, our right hand up by our left ear, and rotating into that last slash as, again, we drop our weight into it. I know Hugh Jackman is not, but Wolverine is generally short, and so we, he makes sure to use all his body weight every time he does his strikes. So we have our first hands to the left hip, step out with the right leg, double slash. Then we have our one, two combo, right, left. Then we have it in reverse, backhand, prepare by the ear, drop the last guy. From here, we see our next opponent coming in. We're going to deflect and come around, double slash. And again, as we double slash, it's shifting our weight into that next target. So one more time, block away, double slash through, which winds us up for our left hand uppercut slash and our right hand across the body. And that's how we finish our combo with just that one, two classic Wolverine uh, combination. So one more time all the way through, start from our pose, dropping our hands to our left hip, Stepping out, double slash up. From here, we're gonna go one, rotating, two, rotating, three, rotating back, preparing the hand at the, at the ear, four, dropping our last opponent, or next, that opponent, going to our next guy, block, double slash through, uppercut, body slash, and then you could finish and whatever Wolverine pose, sushi. And guys, I'd love to know if you guys like how this series is going. Uh, I wanna do a more long in-depth series of videos for more characters. So I'm thinking about doing like Batman next or Captain America or whatever. So please let me know in the comments if you like this video series or this video type and subscribe if you wanna see the rest of them. But let's go back inside. Thank you guys so much for watching the series so far. I really hope you enjoyed it. I am recording all of these as a batch, more or less. Um, so I'm not really sure how the series is doing. I really hope it's doing well. Um, but if not, you know, it was still fun to make. However, if you want to get these episodes a little earlier than everyone else, consider becoming a member of the channel. Not only will you get all of my videos earlier than everyone else, well, at least most of my videos earlier than everyone else as long as I can keep on schedule, but you'll also be able to get your name running at the end of the videos like credits because it just shows the support that you guys give me. And if you can't monetarily support the channel, that's okay, I totally get it. Dropping a like and sharing the video would also do just fine. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be The Modern Ninja, but lift off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pink Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim I hit flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to